Good morning, guys. So today we're going to be learning about how we can make a 10 to help us add, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to try to think about those numbers that go into making a 10 that will make it easy for us to actually add bigger numbers. So we're going to go ahead and start with our solvent share. And our solvent share says, how can you use groups of 10 to help you add 25 plus 8? So 25 plus 8 is a really big number, but we can figure out how we're going to add it by using tens and ones. So when I look at the number 25, what do I know about the number 25? It's got a two in the tens place, so it's two tens, and then how many ones? Five ones. So I'm gonna draw two 10 rods, and then I'm gonna draw, I'm actually gonna stamp them. One, two, three, four, five ones. Okay, so now I need to look at the number that I'm going to add to it. I need to add eight to it. So if I add eight more, I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And look what I can do. I can see that right here I had five. I added five more of that eight and it made a 10. So I'm going to circle that so I know it's a 10. So now I can look at it and I can see I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. So making it look like that 10 made it a lot easier for me to count. Okay, so then I can put down here, I can say, well, I had 25, I added 8, and that gave me 33. Okay. All right, so we're going to watch a quick little video that's going to help us show that too, and then we'll practice that skill. Okay, here we go. Sometimes you can make a 10 when you add. Let's try with 28 plus 6. How do the lines and the dots show 28 plus 6? 28 is shown with two groups of 10 and 8 ones, and 6 is shown with 6 ones. You can add ones to ones to make a 10. How does the picture show 28 plus 2 plus 4? Okay, so let's look. I had 28, but then it says plus 2. So I took 2 from my 6 to make it 28 plus 2, because that made a 10, and then I have that plus 4 would be my leftovers. The two lines and 8 dots show 28. Then 2 more are added to 28 to make another 10. There are four ones left. What do you have after you make a 10? So let's see. Select your answer. After I make that 10, remember this is my group of 10s, I have one, two, three groups of 10s, and then how many left over? One, two, three, four. So I have three 10s and four ones. Now you have three tens and four ones, so 28 plus 6 equals 34. Why are 30 plus 4 and 28 plus 6 both equal to 34? 30 plus 4 and 28 plus 6 are both equal to 34 because 2 was moved from 6 to 28 in order to make a okay, 10. Okay, so we're going to try that a little bit, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to move the counters to show 28 plus 6, okay? So if you look, right here I have 28 in red. I have 10, 20, and then I have this last one that has 8 in it. I know it's 8 because there's only 2 missing in the 10 frame. So that the red dots are our 28. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the yellow dots into the 10 frame to make the 10, okay? So I would need to drag 1, 
two more in to make the 10. And then look what I have left over then. I have one, two, three full tens, which I know three tens is 30. And then I have one, two, three, four left over. Can't make a 10 when you add. Why can't you make a 10 when you add 21 plus five? Why can't I make a 10? Let's see, well, I only have one one here. And if I add one, two, three, four, five to it, five plus one is six, is that a 10? No, I don't have enough to make a 10 yet. You can't make a 10 when you add 21 plus five because one one and five ones is six ones in all. Six ones is not enough to make a 10. Now you know how to make a 10 to add. Okay, so now that we watched the quick video, let's go ahead and practice that skill a little bit. Okay, so up at the top, you see this is the problem that we just did with them in the video. So we're gonna go ahead and move towards the bottom, okay? So when we go to the bottom, it's giving us an example first. It wants us to do 24 plus six. So for 24, look what they did. They drew one, two lines for the 20, okay? And then they had to add one, two, three, four dots for the four. And then they added six to it, one, two, three, four, five, six. So then they took the four and the six and circled it together because four plus six makes a 10. So then I would have one, two, three tens and zero one, so it'd be 30. So was I able to make a 10? Yes, because four and six equal 10, so it's big enough. Let's try the next one. Okay. 65, so I need to draw 65. So how many tens am I gonna draw first? Six, so let's draw six lines. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then how many ones did I have left over? That's right, five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then I'm gonna add two to it. So I'm gonna add one, two. So let's look at that. I had five, six, seven. Was I able to make a 10? No, because five plus two is smaller than a 10. So 65 plus two, I would just say, here's my 65, then I would add one more, so I'd have 66, 67. So I didn't have to make a 10 on that one because the numbers were not big enough to make a 10, okay? So let's try another one, okay. Up here I have 17 plus seven. So I need to make 17. What do I know about 17? How many tens? One 10, because there's one 10 in the tens place. How many ones? Seven, so I have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones, okay? And then I need to add seven ones to it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I have seven here, so I need to add some more to make a 10. So I need seven, eight, nine, 10. I need to add three more to make a 10. So I'm gonna circle the seven and these three right here. So now how many tens do I have? I have one, two tens, that's right. And how many do I have left over now? I've got one, two, three, four left over. So what is two tens? I'd have 10, 20, very good. And then I had how many left over? Four, so 17 plus seven is 24. Was I able to make a 10? Yes, because seven and seven is more than 10, so I can make a 10, so I'm gonna circle yes. Let's try the next one, 32 plus four. I want you to make a guess real quick. Do you think I'm gonna make a 10 for 32 plus four? Look at your no numbers in the ones. I have two and four. So go ahead and make your guess and I want you to circle it and then we can fix it at the end and see if you're right, okay? We're gonna uh, make a prediction. Okay, so 32. How many tens in 32? That's right, three. So I need to draw one, two, three lines. Then how many ones? Two, so one, two. How much am I adding to it? Four, so one, two, three, four. Hmm, look at my ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So did I make a 10? 
No, two plus four is six and that's smaller than 10. So I didn't make a 10. So now I just have one, two, three, 10. So I have 30 and then six ones. So what number is that? 36, very good. All right, so we're gonna look at this and see if we can figure it out and make a guess, okay? Our first one says 42 plus eight, 42 plus eight. And I'm just gonna draw over here. You guys can just write your answer down. I just want to watch you. I just want you to write, watch me make it, okay? So 42 plus 8. It says, can you make a 10? I'm going to make a guess. I'm looking at my ones and I have two ones and eight ones. Hmm. Is that big enough to make a 10? Go ahead and circle what you think first, okay? So I'm going to make 42 over here. So I have four 10. So one, two, three, four. And then I have how many ones? two ones so here's my one two ones then i need to add eight to that so one two three four five six seven eight okay let's count the ones and see if i can make a ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. so this makes one big group of ten I know that because I know 8 plus 2 equals 10. So it did make a 10, okay? So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups of 10 with 0 ones. So if I have 5 tens and 0 ones, what number is that? 50, that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and write my problem. I had 42. I added 8. I added 8. And then I ended up with 50. Okay, all right, I'm gonna erase this right over here so we can make our next one over here. Okay, 29 plus five. I want you to make a prediction too. Look at your ones, nine and five. Do you think you're gonna make a 10? Go ahead and circle your answer and we'll see if we're right, okay? So let's make 29 first. How many tens in 29? Two tens, that's right. One, two. How many ones? Nine, so I need to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then how many am I adding to it? Five, one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have this group of nine and I need to see what I can add to it to make a 10. So nine, I just need one more to make a 10, so I'm going to take this one off the bottom because now I have 9 plus 1, which made a 10. So how many 10s do I have now? 1, 2, and then this big group, 3. That's right. And then how many do I have left over? 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have three 10s and four 1s, which is the number 34. Good job. So 29 plus five equaled 34. So I want you to look back at your prediction. Did we make a 10? Yes, and I could tell because I know nine and five is gonna be more than 10. I could tell that I was gonna need to make a 10. All right, the next part is a little bit tricky, so we're gonna have to try to figure it out. Giving us a missing number in between. So when we have a missing number in between, what we can do is we can count up to that number because it says 23 and then I'm adding something to get to 32. So I have to figure out how many do I need to go between 23 and 32. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on 23. And remember, we don't hold up a finger till we jump. So 23, then we say 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32. So how many did I jump? I've got my whole group of five and my group of four. So what's five plus four? Nine. So I think my answer is going to be nine. Now we can check that by drawing a picture. If I have 23, I would draw two tens and one, two, three ones. I need to get to the number 32. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my color so you can see the difference real quick, okay? So I need to get to 32. 
So I'm at 23, so I'd say 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So I drew the other dots to get to 32, okay? So if I counted those dots that are blue because they were a different color, I'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I can tell from my picture that I have my answer is correct, okay? Let's try the next one. It says 35 plus what equals 40? So I have to figure out what, what I'm adding to it. So I'm going to start at 35 and let's figure out how to get to 40. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. How many did I add to 35 to get to 40? I added five. There's also a little trick if you think about counting by fives. If I see 35 and 40, I can think of, hmm, when I count by fives, I say 35, 40. So I think there's five in between. Let's go ahead and draw a picture to make sure we're right, okay? So if I have 35, I have one, two, three tens, and how many ones? Five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm going to change my color so you can see the difference again, okay? And I need to get to 40 now. So here's my 35. So I need to say 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So how many blue dots did I have? One, two, three, four, five. So my answer was 5. 35 plus 5 equals 40. Okay, we're just going to really quickly solve a couple problems, okay? So, because we want to look at these word problems, because we want to think about those words that give us clues on what we're going to do. It says, Jamie has 28 cards in his collection. His sister gives him six more cards. How many does Jamie have now? So let's think about that. He had 28. They're giving six more, so my number is going to be getting bigger, and I need to know how many we have in all now, okay? So let's draw 28. 28 is two tens, so one, two tens, and then how many ones? Eight. Very good. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight. And then I'm adding six to that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have eight right now and I need to make a 10. So eight, nine, 10. How many more would I have to add to get to 10? That's right. I need two more. So I'm going to take these two right here. And then what do I have left over? I have one, two, three, four ones. So now I have one, two, three tens and four ones. So how many is that? Three tens and four ones is the number 34. Very good. All right, we have one more we're going to do. Lisa knits 15 scarves, then she knits eight more. How many scarves does Lisa have in all? There's those words for us, in all. When we hear that, we know we're going to be adding. So I had 15. I've got eight more. So 15 plus eight. Let's make number 15. 15 is one ten. And how many ones? Five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to add eight ones to it. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight. All right, so I have five here, and let's see how many more I need to get to 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I had five, I need five more to get to 10. So now I have one, two tens, and then what do I have left over? One, two, three ones. So 15 plus 8 equals 23. We're going to go ahead and skip these next two and I'm going to show you what you're going to do for your homework. Okay, so for your homework right here, 
just like those other ones, you're going to do numbers one, two, and three on the bottom. So you're going to be practicing drawing and making those tens. And then on the back, on the back, all I want you to do is four and five. You're not going to do six and you're not going to do seven. Okay. All right. You guys did an awesome job. Thank you. And I'll see you later.